What the fuck? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Oh. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. I was wondering I love writing on it, like if she could talk. Like, time. all day at work today, I was wondering, I was like, is she, does she have, like, the Stephen Hawking thing where it's like, she types and talks, or just, can she talk? To visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Huh. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. Not with dead whales! These beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, don't blame William. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? Holy fuck! I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ah! And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Mm. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. Oh. I don't seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. God, those head, that those I'm like sorry, things that's holding her head. It's like that was are supporting her head really freak me out. Like you're my best fuck. friend, Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. <laughs> None taken. What the fuck? Figure she could talk because Hawk and Light had like a computer mark. Right, I true. There's the lighthouse. Claude, or Max, you really done fucked up here. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. 
feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. But hey. they, you know, Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. You know we love you and you're in our hearts. Hang on. Oh fuck, hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, sister asked me a question, and I was like, "Oh God," because my brother asked me if I could watch the kid, uh, the uh, nephews. I'm like, "No." Cause... I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I'm sorry for what happened, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Oh God! At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. Oh yeah! It made her feel great. But anyway, my brother's being lazy, and he wants me to watch the kids for like the last one or two hours before my sister comes home, and I'm like, no. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Oh, can we just please fix shit? Cast mask optional. Where's the exit? Lamp! That's a serious heat lamp. Yeah, I guess when you lose feeling, like, you get really fucking cold. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. There's, there's oh, a dough. The snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Ah. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Oh! Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. You're right. 
I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't. Wow. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> they love you, yeah. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. I mean, I bet. this tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Oh. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look oh. like blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Jeez. It's funny, your family must be going through a lot right now. Ah, yeah. Luckily, my sister started this new job. So, like, that's really been distracting her. Which is funny, because my sister seems like the type when, like, shit happens. Uh, here's the DVD. When shit happens, um... Oh, my God. I made on. that mix for her when we were 12. Ha, <laughs> Um... My sister is usually the type when something bad happens, she kind of loses all motivation, but she really, like, when she got this job opportunity, she really, like, latched onto it. So I was like, good. So I'm happy. She's fine. Um, I actually ended up giving her some uh, money to help with whatever she needed help with, which she ended up, she told me the insurance thing. Her insurance was fine. It covered her medical costs, but, like, um, the money I gave her helps her till like her next check being her first. She told me she got her first check was like a two day, two days of work. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah. So here, help get you food and shit for the babies and stuff for the kids that are there, you know? So anyway, back to, uh, well, I was about to say back to the fun, but I was like, I don't think this is fun. Um... I don't want to look at this shit. It's, it's depressing. Okay.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Dreamy. Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. Ah. Yeah. Company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Oh! Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh boy. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. They are in default in default of your payment obligations on your home loan. This current account holds the amount of twelve thousand payable by August. Uh, this amount has been overdue since March first. You have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or re or reconsolidate your debt. Let's follow out of twelve thousand received within fifty days. We must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue, and we have no other option left. Best Donald Clamp lenders. Jeebus. Just want to make sure. Since you walked away so fast, I was worried too. If you want to talk to me, okay. Love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me, okay. Silence. So you want to talk? My door is open. Love you. I should be a girl by homework. I told you I'd help you out. Never let me help. Try to stop, but you help me by caring. So that's when we're in here. Or that's before this tech. So I can't I can't word that right. Slipknot released her fourth single for this album. I still gotta listen to some of those singles. Who's Taylor? Max X for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not your mom's badass. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My phone is about to die, so call me back. Who the fuck? Get around, sweet. Birthday 18. Jamal, we need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? You can't just text in every class. Some teacher gets super pissed. Yes, because it's super rude. Please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day. That's why I'm wondering if you need if if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but scholarship doesn't cover everything. Girl, I needed it. I only bought a film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll I'll call you later. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. Don't drown either. If you want to contact Kola, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. So I just want to let you know I'm back. Oh, this is your number. Got a buttload of homework. Don't tease me. I know. Oh, she's, she's doing fucking emojis. Shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Unless I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Wow. So this is an asshole. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> 
kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Right. I never go to my mom's house, I'll see like... Of course, you seem more adult now. Whenever I go to my mom's so house, uh, on. one of her neighbors looks the exact fucking same. I don't know. Like, like from when I was thirteen. I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life, but she's alive. She's been a trooper. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her, and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William? Oh! I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so... Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes you can tell he's too. just trying so to keep a in Arcadia poker Bay. face talking to her. Or is it? Uh. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> All I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Yeah, in that case. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. Huh. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Oh. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. Yeah, so it will be. Keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> Here's the bathroom, but hang on. I just want to look at stuff. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Oh, Max, it is so nice oh. to have you around. Hola. I'm glad you weren't just like, why the fuck did you just walk into my room? That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. The boogeyman. Just gonna sneak into your stuff. He's trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super dad. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. With William. William. Hey, bud. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. Because it's fucking awkward. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a Man, reason. if I had a friend, yeah, close exactly friend that went to. down like Chloe, I'd be fucking damn near always seeing them. Or at least when I can. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> 
Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. This isn't kindergarten it's two where you, teachers just literally shoot you, you for too, being in the wrong honey. room. Kindergarten two. And, and that's a game. I'm trying to think of... I feel like I've heard of that game. I'm just blanking on it. Oh, let's look it up. Poor Chloe's probably downstairs in all this fucking pain. Like, where the fuck Wait. she go? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Open it. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. They bought crutches for Chloe. Oh. Hoping she might walk again. Oh. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Oh, William and Joyce. Duh. Keeping update on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine struggle you and I'm so sorry that I can't. I can't help you with alone at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug. Best wishes. I guess we stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I love after everything that's happened right now, you think that's a coincidence. After all this shit that is happening at this very fucking moment, you still think it's all coinkadink. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I bet. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Probably are, because you're fucking with time. I always think about that, like, the ability to pause time, but, like, if you were to pause time, and, like, when you think about it, you would die sooner. While, even though maybe you've lived longer, maybe you, you've lived, like, you live longer to, ever, to the outside world, you died sooner. Well, I, just, I, just, I have these thoughts at 3 in the morning. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Yay. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? 
Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Same. Plus Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh. God, this is all sorts of wrong. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. God, Whoa, my dad would have awesome kicked my picture. ass if I laughed at him. <laughs> so badass in our pirate. He told me to time we out. Taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. So my dad didn't really need to physically discipline us because he scared us enough to where we fucking listen. <laughs> like, I don't recommend that kind of thing, but oh, it worked. Man. There we are. And it was fucking here. scary. <laughs> I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Most of the time he just put us in time out or ground us, like or, he, or he would just take shit, which... I wish it That was. was pretty much what he did. Me too. He didn't really have to get physical. Oh, no. Thank God! <laughs> Maybe I could... Maybe. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing. That's what and, Joyce is telling me. Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Um... What the fuck? You can't do this to me! I I can't. I I I I'm sorry. I can't. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. I don't yes. think that's legal, though. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. Oh, my God. I a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. No! I am going to help you, but not like that. Just saying, seeing you stuff like this makes me know how to drive. I don't fucking blame you, God! You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Fuck. I'm sorry, William. 